In today's episode, I'm going to show you the latest release from Apollo. This is the MSR2, and it's an upgraded version of the millimeter wave sensor. So having a look at the MSR2, it's using the same millimeter wave sensor, the LD2410, but it is even smaller this time, and I'll show you just now next to the original one what the size difference is. Now, it does come with some options. Uh, you can select to go with a CO2 sensor if you want that to be included, um, and then you have some mounting options. So you can either go for the standard mount or the mount with the little plug as well. It's also got this articulating stand, which we've seen before, and we've got this USB-C port that you can add on. So there's a number of options. There you can see the USB-C port with the adapter. So there's a couple of options you can look at here. So what's new? A more compact design, so smaller form factor. It's got an additional slot so that you can add on a USB connection on the back if you want to power it from the rear as with the other sensor. And they've also changed, um, updated the sensors. So they've changed the pressure sensor for improved accuracy apparently. So we'll so having a look at our MSR2, it is significantly smaller than the MSR1 and only slightly bit thicker. So this is quite incredible how they've managed to fit everything in here. If we look at the back, you've got a new type of casing. This is a effectively clips off here with three different, well, four different inserts that basically hold it in on the sides. Now, if we look at the device itself inside here, obviously we've got our millimeter wave sensor that clips on there um, then having a look at this device we've got our starting from over here we've got our little uh, tune or buzzer we've got our usb port we've got our esp we've got an rgb led and we've got this port over here for the co2 to come in if we look at the back we've got that additional component for adding a usb c on the back and we've then got the two little buttons on the side here. So phenomenal how they've fit. So this device is exactly the same as the MSR1 from all the functionality. So if we have a look at it here in Home Assistant, um, we've got our calibration and our RGB light. For me, I don't have the CO2 loaded on this one. So we've got our pressure. And as you can see, we're getting some nice granularity in that barometric pressure. As you see, I'm moving up towards better weather again, which is always great news. Now, the other thing it options offers here is obviously um, the UV light. So that could be quite useful for automations. Then we've got our radar distance, our moving energy, radar moving distance, still distance, energy. We've got our zones one, two, and three. And then down the bottom here, we can actually set all of our thresholds and we can change the distance for each of the zones as well. So lots of functionality on this operating ESP home all local. Once again, great work by the guys at Apollo. Thanks very much for supplying me with this product to test on my video. If you like this information, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.